What's going on guys? I'm Matt and uh, I'm with Score Made Easy and today we're going to be discussing the various ways that you can get your PSAT score over that 1400 threshold and into that 215 index score area to assure that you get that National Merit Finalist Scholarship in your state. So me, like I said, I'm Matt. I scored a 1410 on the 2020 PSAT in October with an index score of 215 with score breakdowns of 36 reading, 36, 38 writing, 33 and a half math with 12 questions wrong on the whole test total. So for those of you who have already taken it, chances are you're just here to reflect and compare your score to other people, completely fair. And for the rest of you, you're probably here to prepare for that January PSAT that's coming up. For either of you, especially January, I'm here to provide insight into the various ways that I uh, achieved 215. Like me, many of you guys are probably scrolling through YouTube trying to find the best video of someone explaining the surefire way to get a 1500 and get that easy 225 index score. But the, the ultimate um, answer to that question that you're looking for is not, it cannot be found on YouTube. It's ultimately through the work that you're willing to put in and exercising the various steps that I'm going to give you. Number one, you're going to want to start by taking SAT and PSAT practice tests that can be found on College Board's website. If you just simply look up uh, PSAT practice test, there's two. There's one that's uh, recent, there's one that's not as recent. I would take both of them in preparation. And the most important part is going over the questions that you get wrong, whether it be writing, when you need to learn a new strategy, a new, gra a grammatical, uh, a new grammatical um, lesson, or whether it be reading where you just overlooked a certain uh, line and just missed evidence that was, right look that was looking right at you. Regardless, you need to go over your mistakes. So in terms of math, the most important aspect of increasing your math score on the PSAT and trying to break that 700 threshold out of 760 is being careful when you read the question. For the majority of us, for the majority of people that are watching this video looking to get that National Merit Finalist Scholarship, you certainly know how to do most of the problems. It's just a matter of if you're reading them right or if you're moving too quickly and falling into the trap that College Board sets up with every single math question. As we said, uh, you're going to want to look at previous tests found on College Board's website, the um, official SAT and PSAT practice test. That's going to certainly help you, but you're also going to want to look at last year's PSAT. That is not posted on College Board's website, but it is in your College Board account. If you go to look, if you did take it, it's there with your whole score report. If you just click on your score, it'll give you all the questions on the whole entire test, what you got wrong, what you got right. You're going to want to analyze that and look to make sure that you know the question that you got right. You didn't forget them. You're going to want to make sure, more importantly, that you got the questions wrong. And now that you understand the questions that you got wrong. Another thing that I'd like to add that I missed before was the importance of consistent practice. You cannot expect to do extraordinarily well in the, S uh, in the PSAT or SAT, for that matter, by just going in blind and hoping that God will, will guide you in the right direction. It doesn't work that way. If you're not prepared, you're not going to succeed. Consistent practice every single night through the use of Khan Academy is the best way to prepare. It's also important that you um, are analyzing where you're weak, where you're strong. If you need a tutor or one-on-one -on -one, uh, practice, one-on-one -on -one assistance, that's always a possibility. Um, I have videos on my account where I walk through the uh, practice tests. There'll be more posted soon. But um, these are all things that you need to be taking into account as you're preparing for this PSAT, hoping to get a near perfect score for that semifinalist um, qualification. So that's it. That's my uh, four or five tips I forget at this point. That's how I earned a 215, consistent practice, looking at previous tests and analyzing last year's PSAT. This is how I did it. You can too. Be careful. Read the question in its entirety. Good luck.